I just need some support from strangers. I grew up up in a very religious and borderline cultish family. I have 15 siblings from the same two parents. My mom, passed at 42, was a great mom, but an overly submissive wife, and my dad, died at 55, was diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder, aka sociopathic or possibly psychopathic. Still haven't figured out which. I was expected to take on more responsibilities at a young age than is healthy like. Lots of unrealistic chores and care taking younger siblings and my dad. He was in a wheelchair for the second half of my childhood and neither of my parents worked. We were on assistance for most of my childhood and that only covered 8 out of the 16 kids. So we were pretty poor. We were homeschooled and basically taught ourselves. There was body shaming. Talk such as my dad saying if you can pinch an inch or two fat and about how beautiful my mom was before having all the kids when my dad could touch the tips of his fingers and thumbs around her waist. She was very thin and I was not nor would I ever be. On top of all that chaos, two of my older brothers molested me at least once together and the younger of the two continued the abuse for several years after that. I was around 8 when it started, 14 when it ended and 16 when I finally told someone. By that time my mom had passed away from breast cancer. When I was 15 after getting us kids away from our dad and fighting for child services to have custody. The under 18 years old siblings and I all ended up in three foster homes and I was the only one who was placed alone. I was in five different homes from ages 15 to 19 before I forced my social worker to get me into the independent living program to live on my own because I would have killed myself. My older and middle-aged siblings, the ones old enough to have an opinion and their new families pretty much sided with the abusers and limited my access to my younger siblings, the ones I felt like a mother to, after telling the family about the abuse. The foster mother told me I couldn't come over for two weeks while she sorted things out. I told her to tell the abuser I was sorry because I felt guilty for outing him and she said she would. No asking if I was okay, or telling me I didn't owe him an apology. My foster mom reported it so. Child services stepped in and made the younger one of the abusers move out. The older one wasn't reported because of repressed memories at the time. When I told the mom about the older abuse later she told me to stop making things up. I was told to forgive and forget and that I was being hateful for quietly leaving the room when the abuser walked in the room at the birthday party they had for me. I still don't know why they threw a birthday party for me when they never liked me and even invited my abuser. I found out later by a case worker that the younger abuser also abused my little sister. And when I was allowed to visit I found him, alone with her and the family's daughter who was the same age in their room. He was allowed to visit when the parents weren't home but I was not allowed. I asked my sister if she was okay with with the brother and she got uncomfortable and said we aren't supposed to be talking about it. So I called child services. They did nothing. I was told I re-traumatized everyone by calling. They disowned me for not complying and left me too. Die knowing I was struggling and suicidal didn't visit me in the psychiatric hospital or check on me to see if I was still alive. I had at least three attempts. Years later, they still refused to acknowledge how terrible it all was. I don't talk to most of them by choice others because they still blame me and won't talk. Now at 26, I am married to a wonderful man who knows all of this and is extremely supportive and I am so grateful for his love. I still feel fat, broken, and worthless. I try my best to hold it together, but I can't keep a job due to my PTSD. And I don't have any local friends. I know it's too much for my husband to be everything I need and I'm worried I'm going to wear him out. He's never done anything to make me feel this way, it's just what I'm used to. I'm fighting to survive every day over things that happened years ago. And I'm safe now. Why can't my brain figure that out? How do I feel worthy of love and like I'm enough when I'm none of the things that people expect of you? I'm unemployed, overweight, struggling to do self, care, and not even good at keep the house clean. And I feel guilty for not having my shit together because I have so much now. A handsome husband who treats me wonderfully and home and enough money to pay the bills and even have a few nice things. I feel like I must be ungrateful for struggling to be okay. Okay ran over. I know I posted this on the internet for people to share their thoughts but please if you have a soul don't try to hurt me with your words because I triggered you or because you're broken or hurting too. And if you have no soul, please put that in your comment. Before you cut me to pieces with your words, thank you.